Alright, welcome back to our 51st episode of uh, Orchid Hats Nomad. I've been doing a little bit of work off camera, and well, here it is. I'm not sure about the exposed lava and water yet, but I'm sure... Uh, I guess I can take some suggestions from you guys. Uh, so, this is the Blood Altar. It is notably not quite complete. I need four beacons. I might get that today. Uh, but I basically laid stuff out, and I put in some steel scaffolding and treated wood scaffolding from Immersive Engineering to just sort of make it look like it was holding things up in addition to the uh, blood blocks, of course, uh, bloodstone blocks. But this thing uh, does, is a tier five blood altar and almost, or wait, tier four and almost tier five. That is what it is. I just need the beacons put in and uh, these should be activatable beacons so we can get some nice stuff shining up in the air. Uh, I'm probably gonna replace some of the dirt with some of the dirt patterns from before, but I wanted to do a bit of work on the garden here. Now, with the garden, basically everything on the same level as the pass has an effect. And everything two levels up, which means above two levels up, we can do whatever we want. So with that in mind, I think I want to place some dirt. Now, uh, don't worry, this is going to come into something that I think should be fun. So put dirt right there and just basically put dirt in the center of things. Uh, roughly, okay, that should work. Right in a nice grouping of leaf blocks. I put that right there. Then I put some leaf blocks up around it. Uh, oops. Yeah, let's vary it up maybe a little bit. Oh, or I could do... Yeah, I'm going to vary it up. Okay, so we'll see how this looks. I'm just going to cover these up a little bit. I want this garden to have a bunch of butterflies. And one way we can do that is we can add our modded trees. But first I want to see which ones we are missing. So I'm probably going to consult chart in a second here. But I'm basically going to plant some one by one modded trees on each of these dirt blocks, each of these totally concealed dirt blocks, and have them, uh, yeah, it looks about, I guess that's about balanced from a certain angle, and have them sprout up and then butterflies will uh, spawn and basically crossbreed between them. And then we can get some, uh, you know, basically uh, a very leisurely uh, tree crossbreeding going from forestry going on. Might also tuck away some uh, bee houses somewhere here, but we can uh, get this started and then maybe add some lights in. I was thinking maybe the floating lanterns from immersive engineering could be fun. So yes, let me see which trees I need to breed. Okay, so the first trees we were missing are the silver Birch and uh, something spruce. Yes, yeah, silver birch and something spruce. I could probably look that up in here. Should be a red spruce is what we need. And I think you get those by crossbreeding just normal, uh, the normal trees with other trees. So we've got two of those, uh, one birch and one spruce, and then we've got some modded ones, mundane larch and the apple oak. Uh, the mundane larch uh, basically combines with some of the combinations of the spruce. The apple oak combines with some of the combinations of, I think, both of them. But we can start growing these and hopefully start getting some butterflies besides our just one. Uh, so let's get some fertilizer. Still got a ton of that. And grow these up. Now that one, you know, looks like a normal tree, but, you know, gives gives apples, which is nice. Okay. Ooh, that was a, that was a big one. All right, and let's get this one. Another big one. I'm not sure about these pink leaves at the base. Hmm, I think I want to do with more of the whatever leaves are beneath. So I'm going to get some spruce in and some jungle. I think I might be out of jungle. Let me see. No, I've got some. All right, so let me put away stuff I don't need anymore. Don't need that anymore. I did an upgrade, so we're automatically making stone now because that was getting obnoxious. All right, here we are. So let's just uh, go ahead and get rid of the uh, the pink and purple for now. I want something that blends in a little bit more because the trees already are going to be standing out. And we're going to be swapping out what trees we're crossbreeding here. So just, you know, making it blend in a little bit. I mean, it's not going to blend in, but... <laughs> We're going to try. All right, and there we go. And then let's do jungle over here. Now, forestry has some fun tree breeding. You don't actually need... Now, it has bees as well. Bees can take a lot of time. You don't actually need to do much in the way of bee breeding to get tree uh, breeding. And, you know, you can get more efficient trees for sure, 
but to get all the variety of trees, you don't need to uh, really dabble with any sort of genetics or anything. All I have to do is make sure the combinations are near each other. And then you're going to have to make uh, some sort of... Oh, I'm going to want spruce for this one. At least on this side. There we go. They need a pollinator. Now, by default, that's going to be uh, bees. Now, you don't actually need to set up a full bee thing. You can actually set up some bee houses. Which actually uh, cross-pollinate a lot better. Alright, this looks pretty good. I like this so far. So, now, uh, let's go ahead and find ourselves some bees. But first, we're going to make a scoop. This is not going to be crazy bee stuff. This is going to be just very simple bee stuff. So, let's make ourselves a scoop. Are we really out of sticks? I need to make a thing that makes sticks automatically. No, I don't need bamboo. Although, that would be fun to find. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to open up planks. This is not working. Okay. Let's just take a stack of this. Ah, oh, there we go. That does not look like a stack. That looks more like a stack. All right, there we go. So, uh, let's get a scoop going. There we are. Now we need to find a beehive. So they're easier to find at night because they uh, light up a little bit. Now I guess technically we don't need to find a beehive because we have this thing here, but I want to keep these going for now. Um, yeah, let's let's leave them be for now. Let's leave the bees be. Uh, ha, ha. Yes, clever of me. Oh, there's a beehive. All right, what's what type is this one? I think in theory we're supposed to like spray them with stuff to calm them down or else they'll bite us, but uh, I've got so many health levels right now. Oh, and then a creeper thing blew up on me. So I got a princess, a drone, and a honeycomb. That is all that I need and a little bit of salad to get over the horrible bee bites I just uh, sustained. So I want to make a bee house. This is a not very good normally. Uh, version of the apiary. The apiary normally takes a bunch of uh, forestry infrastructure, which we actually already have, so we could make that. But this is going to be better at crossbreeding. Now, you can't do any automation with this, which is a bit of a problem with it. Uh, where do we want to put this? I could just stick it, like, actually in between, like right here. It could be a nice place for it. Can't work no queen. Put in a princess, put in a drone. It makes a queen. Oh, it might need to see the sky. No flowers and sky obstructed. Right, we're already messing up. Uh, hmm, where do I actually want to put this? So I can just take the queen out. Uh, and then I can move this. All right, let's maybe, I can put it right over here. So it's still in theory in reach. I can put some flowers nearby. All right, so flowers, I think for flowers, it just needs actual flowers. So let's just see. Poppies, all right, I'm gonna put some poppies around. Now we'll get more flowers in time. Some poppies by the road. Okay, everything's working great. Normal, normal, make your bee happy. All right, yeah, we're in preferred climate, and we've got bees going around pollinating stuff. Now, hopefully, in time, we will also get some butterflies going around pollinating stuff, but this should be doing its start, and it's going to make us some uh, some combs and whatnot, which we might be able to use for honey if we really want to. But I want them to pollinate these trees and get all sorts of crossbreeding going. Uh, I think they should be close enough. I think they have a long range when they're in the bee house and an increased crossbreeding rate when they're in the bee house. The downside of that is there's no automation at all. Now... Okay, so we've got that done. Uh, right, we are going to need some glasses. And for that, we're going to actually swap back to our dark steel. I know it was nice being uh, in a different armor, but dark steel is actually going to be better for forestry stuff because it's one of those armors you can stack everything on, including uh, the spectacles needed for forestry. Let me look up how we find those at forestry, because there's also these spectacles in Bibliocraft which you do not need to use. Oh, we're searching through forestry is a mistake. All these things. Uh, uh, here we go. Spectacles. All right. So we need some glass panes. I don't know if we have that. Oh, we do. 
I think it was bronze and some glass planes, uh, panes. So go like that, and then, ooh, we got some thunder going. Oh, bronze. Yeah, we got a bit of bronze, okay. And then we got our fancy spectacles. And we can actually wear them. Let's just show off for a bit. Oh, that looks so good. Uh, especially with the spectacle on top. That is great. Um, I might make an extra pair of these just for stylishness. But I think I can... Yes, for four levels, add the spectacles on the anvil to the dark steel. Now we can do night vision. I still want to look at another option for night vision, but I haven't quite gotten around to that. So let's go ahead and put our spectacles on with our goggle, with our uh, helmet, and probably drop these levels off. So I've been, you know, stabbing myself repeatedly while having 45 levels on me. I should probably save these just in case I made a, make a mistake. And this is unfortunately what night vision looks like in this realm. Nice and ugly right here. All right. Uh, so we need four, one, two, three, four. And there we go. That fixed the night vision problem. And then spectacles. All right. Anything else we want to put on here? Apiarist hat, we'll probably want eventually. Uh, but the rest of it, I don't think matters right now. So um, does it give the spectacles back? No, it's just us being Batman again, which is normally pretty good, but those spectacles look pretty nice. So, uh, now with spectacles on, even though they're hidden, let's go and see if we find anything in our trees. We're looking for leaves that look different. And, you know, th these bees have just started, so there's probably not going to be anything right now. But we'll keep an eye out while we have these spectacles on for any changes. No changes yet, and hopefully we'll get some butterflies going because we do have at least two modded trees out right now. Uh, I could probably patch, I, I could probably put more modded trees in, but I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. I'm just going to let the bees do the work. Uh, they're probably going to be upset because it's rainy and it's not bright enough. Yeah, well, you know, you can deal with the bees. Okay, uh, let's get this place light up, lit up a bit, actually. Um, so I was looking at the, what are they? Hanging lanterns or something? There's some pretty butterflies right there. Okay, now that's some bibliocraft stuff. Um, all right, I'm gonna actually look at my immersive engineering book, which is, of course, the same as all of my other books. Kashuk Tome is pretty great. I'm glad I added it. Engineer's Manual. All right, overview and resources. Uh, is there are lights in here somewhere. Uh, lightning rod. Uh, I'm gonna go and find what, I, what I'm talking about and get back to you guys. All right, I'm back, and I remember their name. There are they are balloons. Now, notable in this uh, setup, I've got two sets of balloons: the mechanism balloons and immersive engineering balloons. Immersive engineering balloons are floating light sources that you can actually string cables between uh, if you want to. Uh, and uh, mechanism balloons give you sort of a slow fallish effect and can be put on monsters to make them float helplessly in the air. Uh, so, you know, slightly different applications, but they can both be fun. I might do some stuff with the mechanism balloons later. Uh, I could probably do like a carousel or something with them. Um, I'm just going to get some dirt blocks to... Uh, we have more dirt since we made a mountain out of dirt and then just mined out a big hole in it. Uh, so let me see, where do I want to put them? Maybe one right here? I think they can be placed midair. And I think they can also be dyed, but this might be like, you know, being dyed like, you know, I thought the other things could be dyed. Uh, let me turn night vision off. Okay, that does seem to be lighting things up a bit. Uh, let me put one right here. Yes, that looks pretty good. And they're nice because, you know, among other things, they are a non-ground-based light source, which is very convenient uh, in certain builds. And I don't want to, you know, place anything here in the garden, so... Uh, and these things I can't swap out with, uh, you know, secretly glowstone because they actually matter. So I'm, I think this... Oh, no. Some of the potatoes popped up. Did I step on them or something? I don't know. There we go. I replanted some potatoes. Okay, so let's see. And I put the dirt off my bar. That should get at least some light in here. 
Uh, let me see if I can do any red dye there. Red dye. Let's see if I can. Uh, I might need those. Let me see if I can dye these red. Oh, I can. Oh, but it dyes a stripe. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it saves the dye. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do the red dye for now. That's pretty cool. Okay, I might change to a different die, but that's actually pretty cool for now. So we've got our little, our, you know, happy magical blood magic park with, you know, trees and hopefully butterflies and bees and little balloons, little lights on them. So I think I'm going well within theme. I think this is a good idea. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better, a little bit lit up. Uh, what do I want to do with this thing next? I'm not sure. I might do another uh, bee house over here, actually, just to, you know, get some balance to the place. And then maybe flowers down there should be close enough. I don't know. Yeah, let me go search for more bees. All right, I second, set up a second uh, bee house right here and touched some uh, daffodils underneath, or dandelions. Are they really dandelions? Have I thought they were daffodils the whole time? Yeah, they're dandelions. Wow. And you can see the little bees uh, hovering about, doing their thing. Hopefully we'll get some pollination soon, but... Uh, I think we should try to finish this off today, which means killing the wither three times, which means getting a nether portal, which means showing, seeing how the nether looks right now, which means going to the nether. And well, right now we don't have another portal, so I think we should make another portal. Uh, maybe through here somewhere. Um, I'm going to double door, but this is odd, isn't it? Hmm... Uh, actually, I'm going to do... Two single doors on the other side, and just reach through here. All right, so the plan is to basically have a portal to hell basically built into the arena, because, you know, that makes sense. And in theory, we can, you know, pull pigment out of here to die or something like that. Uh, let's open this up a bit. And make some room. All right. Oh. Making more room than expected. Uh, let's just put this deck down there. Okay, that's close enough. Uh, let's dig this back some. And, you know, we have a portal of hell underneath all of our villagers. Uh, now, fortunately, we shouldn't get anything too bad going through here because it's only two tall, one wide, and whatnot. So, you know, nothing too horrible coming through. And I'm going to want one extra layer so in theory we can put some fans down here if we want to, you know, actually blow things out from hell. Uh, but I think, with that done, I think we aren't going to make villagers fall with this, hopefully. Just make an area for another portal like this. Did I already do this side one more? No, I did not. I think I've got enough obsidian for this. I might need to make more obsidian. Alright, uh, let's throw all this stuff back into storage. I might actually need to make more slots in my storage. I think things are getting relatively full, but let's see. All right, I've got 22. That might be enough. Um, let's turn night vision on. Since we aren't looking for aesthetics at the moment. And I just, of course, right. Oh, I can dig behind it later. Or, you know, right now before I light it. Okay, basically just exactly. That should be a big old uh, end, or nether portal. Be nice notable and we can put a space behind it so we can put some fans later and dig stuff out later so that should be fine do i have a flint and steel here somewhere let's find out why do why is that my crafting grid okay uh, if i have flint and steel i'm not seeing it which is you know pretty usual for me well i can make a flint and steel so let's do that yeah, there's some stuff where, uh, and uh, or just enough items doesn't quite integrate well. Um, flint and steel. Yes, let's make one of these things. Ta-da! And let's throw away some stuff we aren't going to need in the nether. Uh, we might need that. Not going to need a bucket. Not going to need torches. All right, so... Let's go ahead and... Where's the flint? Did I just put the flint and steel away? Yes, I just put the flint and steel away because I wasn't going to need that in the nether. Alright, that is a nether portal. Alright, let's... Uh, 
Uh, do we have a bow ready or anything ranged? Uh, let's get our bow back. Because we will need that. And yeah, let's just head on through and see what the nether looks like. I didn't add Natura. Uh, Natura, I'm kind of mixed on as far as mods go. It adds a lot of nice stuff. It also adds a lot of kind of stuff that always struck me as kind of eh. Like, I love their redwoods, but they changed the nether, not as big of a fan. So we'll see what Biomes of Plenty does on its own. I fear whether it or uh, Natura adds the bees. Okay. All right, so there's a cyclic uh, nether ores and whatnot. Okay, I've uh, got some glowstone. We're running a little low on that. Uh, so let me just, you know, bookmark this. Hello, gate. And see whether we can find another portal. I think we wanted to go horizontally to find a fortress if we don't already have one. We might just take a look around, see if there's anything that really jumps out. Uh, just a normal hell so far. Got, you know, we've got the random blazes going around. Oh. Please didn't get killed instantly. That's fun. All right. Uh, doesn't seem that different so far. Okay. All right. Well, you know, this seems pretty normal. Uh, I'm going to look around and see if I can find a fortress. Uh, and I'll get back to you guys when I do. So I haven't found a fortress yet, but it looks like Recurrent Complex is doing some stuff. I really like these arrangements right here. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but basalt and quartz. Although it's a quark basalt, it might be quark that's making these arrangements. Either way, I enjoy them uh, so far. And there, yeah, there, there's some interesting stuff, but nothing, uh, nothing too changing. This looks like a crashed ship over here. That's pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, no, it seems it seems good so far. I'm actually going to check over where a fortress was in the old Nether, and see if one happens to be there this time. See if. Uh, See if things have glitched out in that similar way, and also if, you know, we happen to get some uh, skeletons spawning there, despite it being glitched. So, we will see. And if not, I can always just, you know, explore a bit more, uh, and find our way to a fortress eventually. And here we are, and there is, well, no fortress as far as I can see. So, I guess that bit didn't glitch out in this way. Um, I don't know, maybe I've deleted the fortress folder? And not other stuff. Let me get rid of this so I don't get confused later. All right. Uh, let me go around and see what else we can find. Okay, and I found a fortress not too far away from uh, where I last mentioned. Let me see if we can break in here. Oh, I should probably also turn night vision on. Sorry about that. Hopefully there's enough lava to light things up. All right, so we've got some strange blockage here, but that isn't necessarily too odd for a fortress. Let me see if there's any path out of here. No, okay, so it looks like this is a completely concealed area. All right, uh, nether wart. I mean, I, I don't remember how much we have. Might as well grab some more. But I don't think we need a huge amount. Wait, is there just more nether wart? Okay, more nether wart over there. All right, a little dead end. Uh, Little passage up here. Does this go anywhere? Oh, we got a chest. First chest of the new hell. Let's see what it has. Has a half charged empowered three dark steel boots with jump on them. Ooh, jump. Wing charm. We might actually have use of that. Lava charm. I haven't had much luck with that one. Uh, let's check out this chest here. Got a uh, sinister drone. A pair of shoes. Sack of storage, okay. Building one, that actually could be useful. I don't know if we already have one of those. Oh wow, there's a whole bunch of chests in here. Uh, I'm gonna get lost. Void crystal, and yeah, yeah, whatever. Nothing too great there. All right, and I'm not seeing any skeletons yet, and then I just got hit with a sudden lag spike. Not seeing any skeletons yet. Uh, let me try outside and see if we can see any up here. All right, well, there's a skeleton skeleton. I guess that's a start. More skeleton skeletons. I guess I might as well just, you know, smack them. Um, hmm. Ah, wither skeleton. Here we go. Hello, mister. I, I need your head. And what did I get? I got some, you know, I got a drop of evil. That's something at least. All right, let me see. Any other... 
visible skeletons. Not yet. Okay, well, I'm going to go around and uh, collect some skulls and some bits and go from there. All right, so one of the things I alluded to was a salamander's eye that, uh, among other things, makes uh, the fireballs completely miss me while I hold it in my offhand. Uh, so since I wasn't really holding anything else in my offhand, I decided to equip that and laugh at that uh, blaze right there. Uh, and also these guys. But uh, I am not finding... Uh, with their skeletons as fast as I would like. So I think it's time to do something stupid. So soul bead time. If you haven't seen it for a while, soul bead can in seem to in seems to increase spawning rates and makes monsters spawn even when they normally wouldn't. Uh, this has led to problems in the past as I eat a soul bead and then get swarmed with monsters. All right, here we go. Here's some monster swarms-ish. Right, they're gonna miss me, so I'm gonna just focus on this guy. Uh, well, again, no, that's necrotic bones. That's not the thing I need. All right, well, let me see if anything else pops up. Whatever those little things are. I should probably look up what those little things are. Hmm. I might have to make a wither or skeleton spawner. Might be a thing that I need. Oh, yeah. Well, here we go. I like how it missed me and hit that thing instead. <laughs> so it bounced off of me. Okay, that's pretty nice. Wait, is this the second fortress? Or is this part of the same fortress? This looks like it's part of the same fortress, but I don't think we've looted that yet. Uh, maybe we have. That doesn't look that impressive. Okay, so I'm going to keep wandering about and gather up some skulls. What is this? It's a fire elemental from Ars Magica. Let's see if we can kill it. Okay. Yes, it wasn't a boss, but yes, that was cool. That was new. All right, back to killing old things. Ooh, what is this? Wither Cow, Grimoire of Gaia. That left a thing on the ground. I don't know what that is. Strange. Uh, didn't get a skull, though, so back to work. All right, I might have enough withered ribs and withered skulls and whatnot that I have everything I need, but... Uh, this was tiresome, even with the bead increasing spawn rates. I want to do something better, uh, if it will let me. There we go. Okay, so I want to make a spawner changer. I already made one for uh, the for the shulkers, I believe it was. But I want to make one and try to get wither skulls in it. So spawner changer, we need some stuff. We need power diamantine crystal block. Uh, I can go ahead and make that. Then I'm going to try to use a spawner changer to get a withered skeleton and then use that on one of those uh, spawners back at the fortress to then get a withered skeleton spawner, which hopefully works. Then I'm going to try to use a drop of a tier drop of evil, whatever it's called on it, to then get it portable and controllable by redstone. Okay, I made a spawner changer and now I'm going to try to get this guy to go close. I just right click on him and then he is stored in the spawner changer entity skeleton. I hope this doesn't cause problems. Place in crafting grid to clear storage. Now I've got to use it on a spawner to change it up. I think I just go like that. This looks like a skeleton spawner, not a not a wither skeleton spawner. Let's see what pops out. Oh, well, wither skeletons pop out here. This will be at least convenient here. A lot of wither skeletons spot popping out here. I'd like to get a spawner for Wither Skeletons working in the overworld. Oh, this is this is so good. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to complain if this doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> this saves so much time already. But I think I want to escalate things a little bit. Okay, it spawns skeletons as well. It's so really in the end, I want to put this in the arena. Uh, and I want redstone control on it. Okay, well, fortunately, we got the thing for the next step. I think Drop of Evil, I can use it on a spawner, and that will break it and make it a restirbed mob spawner. So I'm going to head back with my restirbed mob spawner and see if I can put this in the arena and make it do stuff. All right, here I am in the arena, and I figure we should give the arena more, well, fun stuff to have. So I'm just going to 
bore out that wall there, uh, and maybe hide the chisel stone behind it in case things are visible. There we go. That should be good enough. And we have a restored monster skeleton, always on. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, it should spawn something soon. I'm not seeing anything inside it. Always on. It doesn't have any speed upgrades. I might want some speed upgrades. Uh, I don't even see normal skeletons. Is are things too well lit? Maybe that could be it. Hmm. Let me uh, try this somewhere else. Somewhere not as well lit. Somewhere. Yeah, this looks very, fairly dark here. Let's put this down right here. And I might not know how to use this, this thing. Or maybe it needs a lot of upgrades. Redstone on, redstone off, red, always on. Huh. Alright, well I'm going to watch it for a bit, see if anything happens. Okay, a skeleton finally spawned. And yes, it is a skeleton. Only a single one. Um... Might not be what we're looking for. Or at least we might not be able to, you know... Uh... Yes, uh, I'm going to watch it a little bit further to see if we get any fancier skeletons, but we might have to put this back in the nether and see if it does anything better there. Alright, it looks like it did work uh, here in the nether. Uh, not in the surface world. I've got it set up with redstone control, so it only spawns when that lever is pulled. Uh, it does take a very long time to spawn, though. Um, I mean, longer, I mean, less time than you'd have to wait around a fortress, but uh, longer than we were doing with just the repurposed spawner. I mean, I wonder if we could do a skeleton spawner in the same setup and just save a lot of time on what we just did. But we have a wither skeleton spawner. That's a start. I'll turn it off for now and see if we've got enough stuff. Shh. Be very quiet. There's a butterfly there. Oh, and we've got enough wither skulls to fight the wither, but uh, unfortunately we are out of time with all the prepping and trying to set up a wither skeleton spawner and all that. But we have our first, well, our second butterfly, a black swallowtail. Next time we'll probably be fighting three withers at once, or playing with butterflies. I don't know. Maybe both. Hello, butterfly. Hello. I know you enjoy the aura of the blood altar. Do some more blood sacrifice later. Yes, eat that worm. Uh, please don't eat the worm. That worm is important. It keeps the crops fertilized. Uh, but yes, we have a butterfly. We have wither skulls. Today was a good day. I hope you all enjoyed. See you next time.